Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HBC. We're here at SC16 in Salt Lake City, and this afternoon we're here at Super Micro Booth with Don Clegg. Don, welcome to Salt Lake City. Well, thanks. <laughs> Pleasure to be here, and thanks for coming and checking out the Super Micro Booth. Well, well, well thanks. You know, I, I think you always have like the newest hardware on the latest stuff. What's going on this week at Super Micro? Well, I, I agree with you. We have the newest, we have the best, and we have the most. <laughs> and there's not enough time to show you everything. But let me show you some really cool highlights okay. that we have. Okay. So we're standing next to a platform that's our fat twin architecture. It's a whole family of products. Yeah. The one we're showing today is in a 4U enclosure yeah. that'll support eight server nodes. Mm. Now, in this 4U, you can have eight nodes, we can set it up to be four nodes or mm -hmm. two nodes, but that's, that's not all. Yeah. You can set it up to be I.O. in the back or I.O. in the front, depending on what your cooling is, mm -hmm. with many, many options for flexibility and configuration. So when you look at HPC environments and scale out, this offers the most versatile method of, of tailoring a particular platform to an HPC environment. And this is really cool, we're, we're really happy. We just had an announcement from Rutgers that they cracked the top 10 in universities and they did it at a fraction of the cost of other systems using Supermicro and Intel's OmniPath fabric, all on a fat twin. Okay, so that's the Fat Twin platform for HPC. What else is a popular server for that? Well, you know, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> many, many people don't realize Supermicro and Intel, and Intel invented the whole twin architecture series. So along that line, I want to introduce the big twin. This has really never been seen before. We've just done a press release of it. And what makes the big twin so cool is that customers are trying to bring storage and memory closer and closer to the CPU for obvious performance enhancements. Check out one of these nodes and you'll see it has 24 memory DIMMs. I mean, you can get three terabytes of capacity all in this half U enclosure. Again, very similar to the Fat Twin. This, there are four nodes in this. We might be able to take a look at the back in a minute, but four hot swappable nodes. Bring in two U, is that what it is? Yeah. This is in a two U, yeah. bringing four. Yeah. And that's been done before, but never with 24 DIMMs. Yeah. Yeah. And a real key feature of this, and I've got it turned around, it actually plugs in this way. Oh, yeah. Real key feature of this is this special controller that now will let NVMe drives be connected to the Big Twin. So with the Big Twin, you get NVMe, yeah. so the, the fastest flash memory connected to the PCI Express bus extra memory, and then you may want to take a real close look at this little cool innovation at Supermicro. Not everyone knows what I.O. fabric they're going to put on there. There's so much changing in the technology. You don't want to rip out your whole server when you, when you have a different and newer fabric. So this little area here is in, we call it our SIOM, Supermicro I.O. module, and you can do various flavors of Ethernet or InfiniBand, you can team them up to go, you know, the one gig, 10 gig, 40 gig. I mean, it's it's whatever the flavor is that you need. You just change the SIOM card. So it's a game changer. I mean, it's essentially any any HPC environment can adapt this and really come out with the best efficiency. And you know, it's people take it for granted, but it's really there. The super micro high efficiency power supplies, the attention to detail in the cooling, the front to back, so it's the most efficient. I don't want to feel like I'm on a soapbox promoting, but I'm so passionate. I love the stuff. I mean, it is it is the most efficient with the coolest new memory technology and NVMe technology and I.O. technology and just announced. So we're getting a lot of attention to this. So world premiere of the uh, big, big twin. twin. It's big, the big twin. twin. All right. You can see there's like four, four nodes on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Just, if we slide this around to the back, you know, essentially all of these are our hot, um, hot pluggable nodes. I just pulled one out here to show you. Yes. You know, and with the, the other thing is that that the um, power supply technology. Look how compact and dense that is. That's a. In the old days, it might have been two times as wide as that, and you weren't able to get the redundancy and the high efficiency. So Supermicro's design of the power to go along with the system has made this. I mean. Titanium level is only the beginning, but on top of that, efficiency all the way through the voltage regulators and the fans and, and attention to detail. 
and that big memory is so important for performance on these big data and HPC applications. Sure, these these CPUs that are are you know many many cores. We don't want to let them sit idle. You pay a lot for those, so you want to bring the data as close as you can to the CPU. So besides the twin platforms, you guys of course have blades, do you know? We we sure do, and there's a blade that's taken off in the HPC space that I'd love to show you. We'll just have to walk to the other side of the booth. So Don, what are we looking at here? So this is our traditional blade platform. It's a 7U enclosure, wide variety of platforms from um, dual processor Xeon to quad processor to even GPU blades. And this is an entire ecosystem in 7U. It's extremely um, efficient for those enterprises that want to have it's almost a 96% cable elimination. You, you essentially install it and you don't worry about it because the switches are built in, the cabling's built in. It's, it's good to go. Tremendous traction with enterprise, but working with our HPC customers, they've helped us optimize the blade family to something even more efficient for HPC. And that's our microblade architecture. So now you're looking at a 3U, and in a 3U you can have 14 different blade and blade sleds. Just showing you an example of one. Here's the classic dual DP Xeon. Just think about that. In a 3U, you can get 14 servers. It's, it's incredible. And if you wanted to go with, say, uh, the Aviton based, these are four different nodes. So that's four nodes times 14, what's that, 56, 56 servers in this little 3U box, as well as the system on a chip, Xeon D, that's out there. So it's, it's incredibly versatile, flexible. It's got the switching built in, yeah. and it's got high efficiency, if we look in the back, redundant high efficiency power. So if you're looking for an HPC scale out environment, and you want the world's best efficiency, performance per watt, performance per square foot, performance per dollar, this is getting tremendous traction in the HPC space. And again, with the switches built in, it's 96% cable reduction, so the scientists can work on their problems and not figure out which cable's loose in the system. Anyway, so we, th this, is, this is getting tremendous traction just as the twin family did as well. Well, well Don, this is exciting, but there's a lot of new processor uh, choices out there. Do uh, you got anything to show us in that area? We certainly do, and I, it's important for me to show our customers just some of the variety we have. So let, let's take a look at what Intel has in their coprocessor Xeon Phi solutions. All right, Don, what do we have here now? So we're demonstrating here Intel's OmniPath solutions along with Xeon Phi. And the OmniPath fabric, by the way, was, was the Rutgers um, big design win that, uh, that we talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. But, but the, the Xeon Phi and the whole Knight's Landing family of that enables many, many cores to be put close to the CPU. So we've designed platforms that will take um, Xeon Phi that are hot pluggable, that are in the twin architecture family, or in the workstation family, and across the board we're qualifying Xeon Phi um, to be you know, best in class architecture. Okay. Well, Don, with all the talk around here about deep learning, what about those kind of architectures? Do you have stuff there as well? Absolutely. And so Xeon Phi is a great deep learning architecture as well as the NVIDIA architecture. So let's take a look at the NVIDIA architecture as well. So Don, what are we looking at here? So let's take a look at some of the uh, NVIDIA GPU based products. A lot of the uh, viewers might be familiar with a more traditional style. We're running, we're running benchmark simulations so it's a little bit noisy but that thing, oh, yeah. is, that thing is cranky. A traditional style, here we show fantastic density. 10 GPUs in a 4U box. Absolutely stellar performance. But we've had a breakthrough. And that breakthrough is now, instead of connecting everything strictly on the PCI Express bus, we have an additional bus. Not just the PCI Express bus, but an additional bus for the new Tesla family of, of uh, GPUs, yeah. Tesla P100s. And you'll see in this 1U design, we have one, two, we have four Tesla P100s. They're talking to two Xeon E5 2600 um, CPUs, but look at some really cool things on this design. Notice how all the GPU, the Teslas are in front, perfect cooling. It gets front to back cooling and there's no preheat, which you'll see in competitors' designs. 
The other really big breakthrough, and it's from the scientists of the HPC world, and it's the ones that are doing artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine uh, uh, learning. Now these all communicate to each other via an NV link, mm. and they're all connected to a single root complex. So before systems behind me, they would fan out from multiple CPUs with all their own PCI Express, fantastic. But for the artificial intelligence, where there needs to be peer-to-peer -peer sharing of information, this is the architecture and a fantastic way to go, and we're an absolute leader in providing this to the market. Because what we're finding when we do it, and all the, the when we do it this way, with the uh, GPUs talking to each other, not only do you get better performance, there's a hidden benefit. That hidden benefit is, not only do you get better performance, but your worst performance, the absolute, you know, when you ever, whenever you have a, a benchmark, it's a histogram. You get your best performing and your worst performing all under a bell curve. This brings the worst performing numbers closer to the best performing, so it's a very tight and it's a known quantity because in the old architecture, some of the slow processes that were there would have to go all the way to the CPU, across to the other CPU, through a switch and down and come, bum, bum. So not only does everything faster, it's the, the results are grouped and scattered closer together, which is extremely important to scientists when they're trying to calculate, and they're not done until the last part of the job is done. So, Supermicro's contribution to this, again, designed with no preheat, fantastic cooling, supports 16 DIMMs, the highest speed um, Xeons for 1U. We give extra drives for an operating system that you don't find in a lot of the competition, as well as options for full-size PCI Express cards in the back for whatever fabric you want. So, the add-on options in the back as well as the, the thermally designed system make this an absolute winner. And we're showing the 1U version. There's also a version of 4U, eight node version. So depending on what your ratio is between CPUs and GPUs. And again, this is a, a game changer for the artificial intelligence um, side of things. Well, great. Uh, in, so walking through this, Don, I just see the, the just the plethora of options available. From, we didn't even have time to go through the whole booth. It's just amazing. Uh, you can have you, to do the whole booth, and I'm I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> to do the whole booth, we could spend the entire show going yeah. into depth on all of that. Yeah. And and I think the main thing is with Supermicro, what differentiates us. Besides, I'm biased, but I will tell you, I believe we have the absolute best product. It's the fact that with. Um, the design done by Supermicro, it gives us building block solutions first to market, and we make we make our systems look customized, even though they're built from standard building blocks. So whatever the application is, you'll find that the Supermicro architecture aligns with it. And it's really been fun to see the company grow over the last 10 years.